Now one thing you always have and always will hear about is that the Great Barrier Reef is dying. Now in my experience all hoaxes and hype that the Great Barrier Reef is dying is a political stunt. Now what the politicians arrange is for isolated studies to be done on certain reefs that may be affected by various problems. They then conduct isolated studies on other areas to show evidence that their policies and their plans that they're implementing are working in order for politicians to look to be saving the Great Barrier Reef. Now let me assure you that the Great Barrier Reef is the most fertile and um, diverse and energetically amazing ecosystem in the world and its ability to bounce back from natural phenomena and to evolve, diversify and change is absolutely unbelievable. Now you may remember in something like the late 90s where the crown of thorn starfish was destroying the Great Barrier Reef. There was funds set up left, right and centre and they were doing everything they can to stop the destruction of the Great Barrier Reef by the crown of thorn starfish. Now as it turns out, post crown of thorns problem studies have actually showed that nothing humans did impacted the crown of thorn starfish. We did not create that problem and we did not fix that problem. Crown of thorn starfish decimating reefs is something that has happened over millions of years and it is something that will continue to happen occasionally in isolated areas over millions of years. Now it is not unlike a bushfire in the Australian bush. Now the Australian bush is prone to bushfires. The bushfire goes through and decimates the Australian bush. If you come back in five years time the area decimated by the bushfire is lusher, healthier, more diverse and thriving better than the environment or the um, area which was not hit by the massive bushfire. That is exactly what they found with the crown of thorn starfish. The crown of thorn starfish went through and decimated areas of the Great Barrier Reef. Then in their studies five years later, once the crown of thorns dissipated themselves, they found that the areas hit by the crown of thorn starfish was healthier, more diverse and better than the environments or areas that were not hit by the crown of thorn starfish. Now the coral reef's ability to evolve is unbelievable. So people are freaking out about global warming for example. Now what global warming will do is cause the Great Barrier Reef to move. So if the temperatures of the sea are rising that means that the corals in the north will be disadvantaged and areas will die off. But in the south the warmer temperatures will allow the coral reefs to thrive and effectively move. So the coral reef will come south. So that will be very good for Sydney waterfront prices I'm sure. But once again issues like sedimentation. People are freaking out that sedimentation is going to be the end of the coral reef. Now sedimentation affects very isolated areas and it's, they've shown that corals have an unbelievable ability to adapt to the environment that they've got. For example, some corals love sediment. So if the environment is high in sediment, the corals that hate sediment will die. It will look terrible when the sedimentation first occurs, but soon enough all the corals that love the sediment will quickly move into that area and repopulate that area with amazing diversity and in amazing speed. So there's all sorts of issues that are claim to threaten the Great Barrier Reef. 
but also when you look at the sheer size of the Great Barrier Reef is we touch the tiniest little bit of it and we study the tiniest little bit of it and when you look at the coral reef in its entirety the only thing I can say is the coral reef is doing exactly what the coral reef has always done which is exactly what the coral reef will always do it will evolve it will change and it will move with or without any human interaction anyway if you've got anything whatsoever that you can add to this little rant then please put a little um, comment at the bottom of this video tell me what of this little rant you believe is true and tell me what you think I may have got wrong anyway that's my view on whether the Great Barrier Reef is dying I think that localized studies which are conducted for the gain particularly of politicians and researchers with self agendas can prove anything they want it to prove make a note tell me what you think